Oh, oh boy. Okay, so I just woke up from a nightmare. I gotta share it with you guys. It's about the future of Linux. And let me tell you, the future of Linux is bleak because in my dream I extrapolated all of the trends. I know what the direction of Linux is. I've seen it. And I, I feel like I need to warn you guys about it because I don't know, it's it's something maybe you you did you won't expect. Okay? So first off, I, I gotta I gotta get the order of everything right, but I'll I'll tell you the kind of stuff that happens. In my dream, um, for one of the first things that happens is that uh, Leonard Pottering comes out and he's, you know, he, he says, you know what System D needs? System D, hey, I got a new project. I got a new sub-module for System D. It's called System D Linux D. Okay, and it's going to be, they're, they're going to build, he's going to say, what we really need in System D is we need an entire kernel built into System D. And that's going to happen, okay? All of the kernel modules, they're going to be built into System D. So you now, yeah, technically people are not going to be running Linux at all. They're actually just going to be running System D. Okay, that's going to be the new thing. I think people will continue to call it Linux because I think the name sort of has like a nerd cred to it. Um, but uh, technically speaking, it won't be Linux. Now, here's a question you might ask, all right? So when we're all using this new system, the operating system, is it going to have good, uh, good, good programs on it? Is it going to like have more stuff on it? Are we going to have all of our fun proprietary games from Microsoft and video editing software from Mac? And the answer, you know, if we can install all those on Linux, the answer is yes and no, because um, if you just extrapolate the trends, we're actually not going to have package managers anymore, okay? They're going to be deprecated, okay? Because uh, Canonical and all these other corporations are like, no, what we really need to do is we need to use Snap and Flatpak for everything. So on this system, the operating system, there is just going to be, the only way you install things is by using some sandbox, quote-unquote sandboxed um, application manager, okay? AppKit is gone. Pac-Man gone, Emerge gone, all of those are gone, um, and of course people are people are like, oh well, we need some standardized way of doing unit um, Linux packages in containers. So they're they're actually going to be probably around a hundred or so of these, um, and they're all going to run on every distribution. Um, like if you install a Linux distribution, basically what's going to happen is that you're going to have Snap and you're going to have Flatpak and App Image and probably five thousand other ones that do exactly the same thing and have like minor differences. Um, so, but that is how you're going to install basically everything, okay? And people are going to take the sandboxing meme really seriously, okay? Because Canonical's like, oh, it's danger, it's dangerous if you uh, don't don't use sandboxing for everything. So basically, what's going to happen uh, is um, like uh, you're going to start sandboxing the sandboxes, or, or you'll have Snap inside of Flatpak and Flatpak inside of Snap, like recursive package managers. Um, and they're going to go back to requiring, uh, you know, to maximally sandbox everything. They're going to require basically, to, let's say you have a program or 50 programs that require curl, okay? You're going to have to have 50 versions of curl. So basically, um, your, your system, your sandbox system, like the basic minimal install is going to be around 50 gigs or so. That's going to be like how it works out. Okay, and if you want to update, basically, it's going to be, I mean, people already know how difficult it is to, like, run a system and, like, update Snap and Flatpak and stuff like that. But in the future, it's basically going to be, like, you don't update because it's, like, too difficult. So they're just going to deprecate updating. They're just going to say, okay, well, if you want to, like, update, um, if you, if you want to update from uh, yesterday's, like, problematic binaries or something like that, uh, you're just going to have to reinstall your system because that's going to be the easiest thing. Like, updating is going to be too difficult because you're going to have containers in containers uh, and, like, all the different containers need to be individually updated. That's how it's eventually going to be, okay, for your safety or something like that, okay? Um, so what else is going to happen? Now, one thing that's going to happen in all of this is the Unix base core of Linux or GNU will be totally stripped out, okay? Already this is happening. Like if you look at a command like lsblk on a normal Unix-based operating system, lsblk lists your block devices. It lists the hard drives you have co uh, connected and their partitions. That's not going to happen. Already we see if you run lsblk on a machine that has snap, that is actually the command to list all the programs you have running, okay? So that's actually going to happen with every other uh, Unix-based command. It's going to be totally inoperable in the new system. So Leonard Pottering or uh, whoever, well, he'll inevitably get like fired or me too because he's a white male. But whoever is replacing him will eventually say, okay, here's what's going to happen. We're going we're gonna to have to deprecate this Unix stuff. We're going to have to deprecate GNU and get rid of it, okay? And once they do that, they'll probably also just get rid of the whole free software thing. Um, they'll just be like, okay, well, GNU, these were these, like, extremists 
uh, who were uh, just like weirdos. So we need to get rid of their uh, their project and any other kind of free software, okay? Now, there are still gonna be people who use Linux because it's free software, but basically what's gonna happen um, is that like the unit, the user experience, okay, first off, again, you're not gonna be able to update stuff. It's gonna be really hard to install stuff because you have so many universal package managers that work on every distro. Um, so basically, but, but your individual experience is, um, people will come to Linux because they're like, oh, well, it's a, a free and open source soft, uh, uh, software project, an operating system. So that means my, my privacy is good. But then Canonical and all these companies, they'll be like, okay, welcome to Linux. Here, install Google Chrome. Here, install Steam. Okay, actually, this isn't even happening in the future. That's ha This is happening right now. Like, people come to Linux, and then, like, they go to the Ubuntu forms, and they'll ask, like, oh, how do I install Steam? How do I install, like, Netflix? How do I install this monitoring device, okay? And people will be like, oh, hey, let me help you. Um, so... That's going to happen. Um, and another thing is, so basically all core utilities, all, all of Unix is going to be deprecated. Um, really, and, and the only thing, there's not going to be programs anymore, mind you. We're going to adopt Macintosh language. So everything was going to be referred to as an app. Okay, everything's an app. Um, and you might say, oh, there's a difference between apps and programs and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. But everything is going to be an app. Um, basically, every single program to do the most basic things is going to be probably electron based. I think that's the most likely. Um, so you're going to basically if you want to install a new program, um, first off, you're doing it through a container. But the base program itself is probably going to be around 400 megabytes. Um, but you need to, again, pull all those dependencies so you can sandbox them. Uh, so that's going to be probably a couple gigs. Um, so yeah, that, that's definitely the future, like the direction I think things are moving in. Um, so it's probably gonna happen. Most of this has already started to happen. Like it's just, you know, you, you might as well get over it. Um, but I, I think things probably will accelerate. Um, the people who use, uh, basically everyone who originally used Linux will be kicked off of it in one way or another. And it's just gonna be entirely replaced by corporate shills. Um, if you wanna keep your job, um, it, you're probably gonna have to like, buy a dress and start taking female hormones, frankly. Um, but things are going to be pretty bleak for the operating system. I don't know what we're going to do. I think maybe on this channel when this stuff starts to happen, uh, or at least starts to happen a little faster, I think I might move to OpenBSD or something like that. It seems like an okay operating system. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. Um, if there's anything I missed, put it in the comments. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I missed. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll have to I'll have to catalog all of this for the future and people look back and I know what a lot of you guys are saying Oh, well, this is a tongue-in-cheek video. No, it isn't a tongue-in-cheek video You you watch you watch for systemd Linux D. Okay, we already have systemd home D. Okay, you just watch I guarantee you